What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're gonna be checking out a colony builder about building a beehive. Is there anything more classic in colony building sims than building, there's there's ant hills and there's beehives. That's like as classic as you can possibly get when it comes to the world of colony builders. I don't know what it is, there's just something about insects that makes people wanna build colonies. So anyways, let's dive on into this one. It's completely and totally free right now on itch.io if you wanna do the game for yourself. So let's try it. Yeah, we'll make a new hive. I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't skip the tutorials. It's probably a bad idea. So like, let's just start a new hive. I have no idea how to be a bee queen. At best, I could probably be like a bee duke. Or maybe like if I really apply myself, I could be like a, a bee count. But a bee queen, I doubt. A new hive consists of a throne room surrounded by 12 under construction cells. Cells are constructed by worker bees and builder bees when you get them. Okay. Do I have worker bees? It looks like I have worker bees. Thank you, little bees. I appreciate all the labor and all the hard work and all the bee sweat that you're putting into my bee castle right now. Every exit allows three worker bees or forager bees to leave the hive at once to gather pollen and or nectar. Left click on an empty cell, then click on resources and select an exit to build one. Well, we don't even have space for an exit right now. So I'm gonna wait till they expand the hive out a little bit. What is that right there? Like, what is this? Oh, that whole thing is the throne room. Okay, so the throne room, we need a little bit of leg room. I get it. Sometimes you want to stretch out when you're the bee queen, you know, relax those lateralis muscles. I don't know why I think the word lateralis is so funny, but I've noticed my go-to muscle whenever I talk about muscles is like either trapezius muscles or lateralis muscles. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. What is this? Today has been declared Queen Sandra's birthday, adding to a long list of queen birthdays to be celebrated throughout the year. Is there even like a date and time? Apparently our queen's name is Sandra, and she's going to be alive for 7,000 seconds longer. What a curse. She's able to see when she's going to die. All right. Well, I assume. What is this? Oh, we got the tutorial right here? Okay. So I've already got that. We need to build an exit, though. Oh, so the game can't be in pause mode when you're building. Gotcha. All right. Well, like, let's maybe go to resources and make that into a B exit. Yeah, we'll put the, we'll put the entrance to the throne room right there. The vestibule, as it were. Can I make that into a cell? Let's make some cells over here, too. Let's make, like, a cell. Oh, God, worker bees will use wax assemblers to replenish your wax stores at the cost of pollen and nectar. Some cell types, like the wax assembler, take up multiple cells. Okay. Cool. I don't know if we, we want to do the wax assembler right now, but we can try. Uh, resources is a wax assembler right there. Oh, it takes three. Okay, so that's a big boy room right there. All right, we'll put in the wax assemblery. I like how the, I, I was thinking that we were gonna have like a magnificent entrance to our base. And instead what we ended up with is an over glorified hole in the floor. I must, I may have trusted my bee engineers a little bit too well. Are my bees dying? I feel like they're dying. Are my bees dying? Where did all my bees go? Oh, another one came up. Interesting. So do the bees have like a limited, oh, they're aged. Okay. And then Jane is in her prime, gotcha. All right, well, I guess it just randomly hatches bees for me, which I appreciate. For fun, Queen Sandra once spread a rumor that she was three stink bugs in a trench coat. Ah, the old three kids in a trench coat trick. It's a classic. It goes back to the 50s. Nobody will ever forget the three kids in a trench coat trick. How long is this going to take? The hive makes use of five types of resources. Pollen and nectar are forged from exit cells by worker and forager bees. Wax, honey, and jelly are produced by workers at assemblers or refineries at the cost of existing resources. Fill your pollen and nectar stores. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like we have a decent amount of nectar and a decent amount of pollen. I like how we've got, like, bee industrial machinery right here. Like, we've all got to wear those little shiny yellow vests that have those reflective tiles on them. Just be like, listen, nobody get hurt. We've got some bee OSHA rules out here. We don't want anybody losing a leg. I know you got six of them, but that doesn't mean you can just be throwing them away all willy-nilly, all right? I don't think we have any water or anything. But my guess is that, so, build a nursery, they will increase your population limit, they will give you role management, and enable the bee sitter. They will speed up the rate at which the highest populations grow. Gotcha, that's what I was wondering about. Okay, so let's go with, I don't know, a nursery right there? That sounds good. We have the resources for it, so, like, why panic about spilt pollen? Oh, no, my bee died. I only have that one baby bee right there. Oh, I have two baby bees now. Okay, it's gonna work out. I was expecting this entire episode to just turn into one long Seinfeld gag, but honestly, it hasn't, and I'm really proud of myself for that. 
I'm really, really pleased that we haven't given into the desire to make easy, low-effort puns. Bee sitters will equal your population growth. Initially, bees spawn at a set rate, but when a bee sitter works at the nursery, they'll spawn faster. Bees have short lifespans, so too few bee sitters will cause the highest population to decline. Okay, so we gotta click on the nursery, and then we gotta go to population management over here. And so we've got workers, we've got bee sitters. Yeah, give me like a couple of bee sitters. Give me like, oh, I can't make builders yet. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to 50 50 it. That seemed like a little aggressive, but I put in like 20% babysitter bees. Adam still feels a thrill of excitement every time he leaves the hive. Yeah, well, you know, the naivete of youth. He still hasn't gone to war against the hornets yet. Neither has he fought against the yellow jacket colony in those trenches where I watched my brothers die. I feel like that got a little melodramatic a little quickly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this episode to have that level of intensity. This was supposed to be a fun little low-poly game, and all of a sudden I've turned it into Grimdark Warhammer 40k with bees. You know what? We took a bug's life and we turned it into ants. And I didn't mean to. Alright, it was not my intent. It wasn't what I had planned on doing, but it's what happened. Let's deal with it and let's move forward. I'm going to increase my bee sitter speed so that we've got like 25% more bees. How do I get more bee sitters? Is that just my chance of getting the thing that I want? I think that is. I think that's got to be my chance of spawning the intended role the next time around. It probably says that at the bottom. I guarantee you there's a guy typing a comment right now being like, well, if you had actually just read the tools, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be okay. Don't panic, chat. Don't panic. Everything's going to be okay. It's all going to be all right. Queen Sandra sometimes likes to listen to B. Freddie Mercury. Like, I feel like we could have... So, I just got to sit here quietly for a second. Like, I, I feel like we could have punned that up a little bit better. Like, Fred B. Mercury? I don't know. Like, Freddie Mercury B? I don't know. Like, you could you could have done something right there. It made me stall out. Like, it killed my mental process. I had to read it, like, three times and be like, Oh, we're not even... We're not even going to try for the joke. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. I, I don't feel I don't feel like, you know, you have to. I don't want anybody to feel like anything's mandatory around here. Did my other bees die? Oh my god, they keep bursting into puffs of smoke. My poor little bees. What other stuff do I have around here? I have a wax assembler and I have an exit. What other cool stuff can I make? I've got nectar storage and pollen storage. Well, we got to let's go like we'll put like a nectar storage right there. And then we'll do like a pollen storage right here. There we go. Hopefully we get a nursery bee soon. You know what? Give me a nursery bee next. I want a nursery bee next. It's my money and I need it now. I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Workshops unlock the builder role as well as the ability to research new construction options and other perks. Workshops and other role specific cells also increase the population capacity for that role. When a role population is over capacity, bees of that role will live half their normal lifespan, so build a workshop. Okay. Oh, we got him. She's got a little hat on. Look at her super awesome little nursery hat. She's got a little nursery beanie, little nursery toque. Some days Queen Sandra just wants to take an evening off and watch Stinging in the Rain. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. A much better effort. That right there, see, we went from Freddie Mercury, B Freddie Mercury, to stinging in the rain. That's, see, that's the effort that I'm looking for right there when it comes to creative punnery. Stinging in the rain. It is kind of morose that, like, every bee has, like, a deadly lance on their butt. Alright, so now we'll just have normal workers for a little while. Ooh, you can see it produce. Ooh, look how fast we're producing bees now, ma. Yeah, we're out here bee breeding, just knocking it out. Yup, it's just like a ridiculous bee orgy up in this thing. What's the maximum amount of worker bees I can have? It seemed like it slowed down for a second. I wonder why that was. Oh yeah, we've increased our pollen storage and we've increased our nectar storage. Nice. Okay, I can live with this. I feel like things are going pretty well. So wax is produced from pollen and nectar. That'll probably... Can I make a wax storage? Is that a thing that I can do? I mean, we do have other rolls that we can make. We can make a workshop, but I'm going to put the workshop over to the left over here. Yeah, let's put the workshop, like, right there. That way, once we start making bee workers, we'll be in slightly better shape. See, now we're cooking with fire. Now we got bees coming out of our ears. 
Laura applied for a wax grant to install a fountain at the exit, but hasn't heard back. Well, you know, government paperwork and bureaucracy. You're probably going to have to file it two or three times. You're probably going to have to chase it down with the county purser. It's going to be a pain. Research needs builders to progress. Every cell has room for three working bees. We, I guess builders can research in a single workshop at once, but wax assemblers have room for nine workers. Left click on a workshop, select research, choose any research item, and also remember to spawn some workers. Okay, so for our research right here, we've got the nursery, we've got a throne room, we've got empty cells, exits. I think we already have all this stuff, but we can get cell upgrades and bee upgrades. So they can forage and construct. Oh, there we go. We can make a map room. Allows map rooms to be constructed. You can do foraging management. Oh, really? We can actually like leave the hive and manage where people are going to be going, huh? That's pretty cool. I'm going to try and manage my excitement. Yeah, build me a couple more cells out here. If I can just have a couple more cells out here. Just a few of those. I'm not greedy, I swear. I just want to have a lot more space to expand into so that I don't feel so cramped. Because at the moment, there's a real distinct lack of leg room in this colony. It appears as though we have run out of nursery bees. Let's put that on the old fitty-fitty until we end up with some more nursery bees. Are these guys getting old yet? Like, what's up with these bees right here? I do wish that they had, like, a little icon next to them that told you how old they were so that you could kind of, like, eyeball and figure out how long it's going to be before you got to replace population so you don't end up with, like, a massive population crash. Nobody knows much about Faith. There's a rumor going around that they might be three stink bugs in a trench. What is it with you guys and three bugs in a, st in a, in a trench coat? You guys and your three bugs in a trench coat every time. Every Is that, like, the running punchline for bees? Like, they think that is just the height of humor? And they just pull out a big golden book that says comedy gold on it, open it up, and it's like three stink bugs in a trench coat. <laughs> like, man, you gotta... They, they keep doubling back to that joke, so I've got to assume that in bee society, that's about as funny as it gets. Can I spawn workers over here now? Oh, I can. I can actually make workers. Well, let's make another nursery that's dedicated just to workers. So we'll make a nursery over there. Like, this one will make... This one will make, like, the normal worker bees this one will make the builder bees and then i don't know what i want to do with all my other stuff but like we'll figure it out as time goes along i'm gonna be honest with you this is a weirdly cathartic game like i am enjoying myself entirely too much right now for a free game like i just want to build my colony bigger and make it more awesome hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on all right so we need worker bees up out you i don't know how many worker bees we're gonna need but I am of the opinion that we need more worker bees. Yeah, that's fine. Make the map room. That'll be cool. Just pump out some worker bees for me. I like how he's doing complex math over here. He's got I like the little trigonometric symbols and whatnot and right triangles and whatever. Makes me happy. So we've got two bees working inside the workshop right now. I don't know what the workers do when they don't have anything. I'm sorry, the builders. I don't know what they do when they have other stuff going on. But I think I may have overdone it. Yeah, maybe we don't need that many. Maybe that's a little severe. Like, maybe we can just, like, give that a little fitty-fitty split right there. I think we may have a few too many builders right now. We've got a number of builders running around. And this one should... Oh, it's it's universal. Oh. Oh. Makes sense. Okay. So I thought we were going to be able to assign it per nursery. So each nursery had like its own thing that I was able to make a call on. So this nursery over here produces builders and workers half the time. This one produces nurses and workers half the time. Dan was once on B Brother, but doesn't make a big deal out of it. I forgot about that show, Big Brother. That's the one where they gotta live inside the house and avoid murdering each other for long periods of time. I wonder if we go to Bee War or anything. Like, are we gonna have to do bee murder? Are we gonna be out there in those bee streets just, like, regulating? My understanding is that bees are kind of ride or die. They like to kick it with one another. They don't hesitate when it comes to, like, taking care of things for the cause. Let's see here. Your hive has a productive population, and you're able to have new bees that specialize in particular roles. Continue to grow your hive with storage, production, and role-focused facilities. Research jelly production and get 600 jelly to create a new queen at the throne room before the queen dies. Well, how long does she have left? Well, we've only used up like 600 seconds. I'm sure it'll be okay. 
So we need to research. Let's go over to here. And with our research, we need to research... I guess we'll start out with wax storage for now. We also need a map room, though. Because we just got that, didn't we? So is that going to be... The map room can go right there. Alright, build me a map room real fast. Because we're going to need to get nectar together so that we can make a new queen. I didn't realize that this was like a catastrophic, hey, the world is going to end when our queen dies type deal. And we need to start preparing for the future. Oh, look, there's little... There's little, like, little nectar loafs that roll down a conveyor belt right there with the little tanks. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So what does this do? Um, the place where foragers can check their foraging routes. Map rooms allow foragers to be trained who can harvest resources outside of the hive at an increased rate. You can also explore and manage the foraging zones that are visited by foragers. Okay. So we've got foraging zones around. All right. Makes sense. Do they automatically train to be foragers here? Or, like, how does that work? Oh, we can explore new areas. Gotcha. All right. So we can either select or we can explore new areas. But, like, how? when do they go in there to get trained is my, my question. Let's see here. Foragers to be... Do I just train them from here, maybe? Oh, I do. So we've got foragers over here as well. All right. Well, shoot. We're getting kind of thin on our production right now. But I assume at some point we'll make some of these bees that have little pith helmets on. And everything will be okay. Uh, expanding our storage seems like a good idea. So let's maybe... Make like another wax storage... Increase our cells a little bit on that side. Just kind of expand out. I'm going to keep all the storage on the back end so that they got to go through the throne room in order to get to our treasure vault. An accident once left Jenny with a ball spot on their chest during the cold season. Remembering that gives them chills. That they, well, that one's sad. Like, I didn't need to know that one of my bees had a hairless titty. Like, I didn't need to know. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little coarse for my channel. That was a little bit coarse, but hey. If you're interested in more PG-13 related content, come check out my stream at twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming. We have all kinds of fun topics. I guarantee you will be massively disappointed with the way that you've idealized me in your head. <laughs> I promise. It will be so disappointing. So I guess we end up, we need eight explorers alive at a time in order to send them out and go do the adventure thing. Oh wow, we got our resources back quick, didn't we? Okay, let's go with wax storage. And then we will go with nectar storage. And then we will go with pollen storage right there. We'll split it all up. Being able to hold more stuff, I think, is never a bad idea. That place is producing slowly. Let's put another nursery in over here, too. Just kind of keep this thing flowing rapidly. Do we have any other research we can accomplish? We've got wax storage, map room, wax assembler. It's possible that all the upgrades are not in the game as of right now because this is like currently in development as with like everything that's on itch.io. Itch.io is a really cool site if you're looking for free games by the way. Developers frequently post like their half done games there that they're actively working on right now and they usually post them for free most of the time so that you can just check it out early and throw yourself into the experience if you really want to. We haven't gotten any nurse bees in a while. We could definitely use some more nurse bees. Aw, oh, one of our nurse bees just died. That feels bad. Don't like that. Yeah, so I think in order to explore, we're going to need at least eight explorers. So we're going to have to increase the cap on the amount of explorers we can possibly have. So I think that probably means we're going to have to put in a few more foragers areas just to make sure. The population kind of took a dive, didn't it? See, I was under the impression that each of these would produce one bee each time that it was up. Queen Sandra has a considerable amount of paperwork to do today. Ah, yeah, well, heavy lies the crown and all that. Heavy lies the crown. Yeah, I thought that each one of these would produce a bee. But I think how it works is that you end up with more nursery bees so they can accelerate the process even faster. So it might not be a terrible idea to kind of ramp up. And increase the possibility of nursery bees while we're here. Because I think we're about to hit a stumbling block in our overall ability to take care of business. 
Let's see here. We have no bee sitters. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I, I have noticed the problem. The problem has been addressed. And now we are moving forward to solve the problem with as much a plumba as we can possibly mustard. All right. Just a second longer, and then we'll have bee sitters. Just give it a minute. It's going to be okay. There we go. See, now we got a bee sitter. Come by and check it out. Sometimes on weekends, Emma dabbles in talking to rocks, but doesn't let it get in the way of her job. That's good. You got you to gotta keep your eye on the prize. Maintain your priorities and all that. Uh, let's go ahead and over here. Nope, not another mer not another nursery. We don't need another nursery. We needed another map room because I need eight of these guys to see how the exploration system works. There we go. Produce more bees. Spit out those baby bees. Spit them out so fast. Yup, we baby bee spitting out here. We need like one more nursery bee and then we can convert this thing over. All right, so the nursery bee has been converted over. Let's get some workers now. Oh, we're moving. Look at the speed. Yeah, now we're now we're hitting it right there. It's time for another population growth. These bees die really quickly, though. That's the upsetting part about all this bee stuff is that they die really, really fast. Like, right around the time I get attached to them, they leave me. Give me one more map room right there. We got room for it. I want to have eight bee explorers. I want to check out this map system. Rainy seeds. Really coming down. Nectar will dilute before forages return, but they will be able to focus on collecting more pollen. Bummer. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on our nectar stocks, is what people are saying. Alright, so now we have that. We can go out. Oh, cool. We found a new zone right there. Sweet. But the bees all died when I sent them. Every single one of them died. Oh my god. I just sent them on a literal suicide mission for the benefit of the colony. I feel like such a dick right now. Like, listen, Sanchez, Cooper, I'm going to need you guys to go out and scout that new area. We have reports that there's all kinds of crazy, like, there's all kinds of crazy praying mantises and things out there. I need you guys to be on board with this, all right? I need you guys to be on board with this. I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be a rough mission. Not all of you are going to make it back. <laughs> they're sitting there like, why did we get picked? And I'll be like, well, your fur was kind of a reddish color on your bee, okay? On your bee person, you were kind of a reddish color, so... We, we were sticking with the Star Trek theme. We gotta send Ensign Ricky. Elise likes to draw maps of the fantasy land of Pollen Hills on a scrap parchment. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we can't really gather anything right now, from what I gather, and so I think we're kind of, like, stuck for the moment. But the rainy season is now here. Let's maybe focus on expanding out our cells a little bit further. There we go. Perfect. So now our beehive has gotten a little bit larger. So yeah, as of right now, I'm not really super sure where we go from here. It doesn't appear as though there's any more researches that we can dive into all headlong. Like it says that we have everything. I guess, but maybe I'm just not being super observant. But in any case, if you want to explore this game a little bit further, maybe we have to go out into the map and find researches out there. That seems possible, that we may have to find them out in the world so that we can continue going further down in. But from what I've seen so far, this game does have you fighting against wasps and defending the colony, and there's little side quests and things like that you can play around with. You can get the game on itch.io right now. I'll leave a link for you down below. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for an episode of Hive Time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Colony builders are always fun, aren't they? So leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And aside from that, I will see you all with something hot and fresh off the skillet tomorrow. Of that, you can be certain. Take it easy, everybody.